Hello and welcome to part 3 of my December 2014 update. Um, I was going to show you this Vincent Price box set in my last video but I was running out of time uh, so I said I'll do in a separate video. I will put some of the titles with as well because I've got some of that won't take too long to show and this this one probably shouldn't take more than sort of 10 minutes, probably 15 minutes depending how much of the book, um, how much time it takes me to go to the book doesn't mean this month then I'm probably going to only have about six videos so that should pull me back about two weeks worth of time so yeah it comes in a nice box I've got the bit of card around there I'm taking off now so we have six films, We've got The Fall of the House of Usher, which has already come out as an Amore and a still book. The Pit and the Pendulum again, that's what it come out as an Amore and a still book. Uh, Tales of Terror, The Raven, The Haunted Palace and The Tomb of, of Ligier, Ligier. How that's pronounced. Those are coming out separately next year. Um, no still books for those, so just uh, normal releases. I've got some diesel on the here in the back of the length of the film, so they're not overly long films. Uh, the only thing they're missing from this, uh, I don't know if it would fit in, if it actually would be part of this series, but uh, one I haven't got the rights to is the Mask of the Red Death. So I'm hoping that is released at some point if it's not by. Um, Studio Canal got the rights and hopefully Arrow pick it up. So we have a sticker on here which I never noted for. Just a little sort of um, copyright things. Got so got the front of the box there. Just got the side there. Some nice artwork on the back. Once the discs all come out, and then inside the just plain and then the top's just plain. So yeah, we've got six in here. Uh, I have a nice, very heavy hardback book, which I'll show you in a moment. So we have in here the six films. These don't have booklets. Uh, they will do when they come out next year. Um, but what they'll be is extract from this. So you won't get all this because it's got this got some stuff in which isn't in the um, won't be in the booklets. And again, like the Necromantic, this one's limited. I don't know how many, two, two or three thousand. But you can get the film separately next year, the ones that haven't come out yet. And the thing with these Arab box sets as well, like the Valerian Borosvig box set, you get in the film, but in individual cases. So you're getting all their artwork and reverse artwork. But say less the booklet inside, which is not a problem because I've got, got it in, in there, that book, so it's fine. So we'll start with the Tomb of the Gear. This is one I had on DVD, um, which I've now got rid of. Not all these transfers on here are completed to scratch. I think some are... I mean, they're all good, but I think some could be a bit better. But, uh, yeah. Not necessarily going to have tons and tons of special features on these discs, but there are, there are some on each one, so... We've got the um, back there. Um... All these have individual artwork inside, alternative artwork, so I'll show those. So that's the image we have on the front of the box. The cat, it looks like. So, and the disc artwork is the same as the disc, um, same as the artwork on the front of the case. So that's the Tomb of Gear. Uh, next up is the Haunted Palace, this one I didn't own. Um, well, didn't actually wasn't even familiar with this one. These are all um, Edgar Allan Poe um, stories. I think these are all directed by Roger Corman. Let's have a look. I'll quickly have a look now. Yeah, it's all directed by Roger Corman. I think Master of Death wasn't so. Perhaps why it's not um, in the set, what they haven't got the rights for it. But uh, here's the back of this one again, just a few special features on here. Uh, 
and then we have the disc and then inside we have the other artwork uh, next up we have the raven which is one I did have on DVD and I'm sure most of you have heard of the um, the story by Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven. Um, there was one of the early, early, um, what might have been the first ever Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episodes. They did um, a version of this. I uh, think The Raven was played by Bart, tormenting Homer, as he usually does. So here we have the special feats on the back. That two face of P. Laurie, I think from what I read, it was like a, <clears throat> it's a German documentary. Apparently, it's a bit boring. Well, the voiceover is so. Someone said there was a better one they could have used, but again, it depends what they can get the rights to. <clears throat> we have the disc here, and then inside we have the other artwork. Next, <coughs> so, excuse me. Next up, we have Tales of Terror. And this also stars, like the other film, Vincent Price and Peter Lorre. Um, I've got Bryce Collins in this one, but I have got Basil Rathbone. Another one I had on DVD. And then we have some special features in there as well. These, these are all licensed from MGM. So they put one of the main labels that seem to license this stuff out rather than um, release it themselves but they release all the big titles you know like um, Woody Allen films but things like this they have the labels put out so, show you the disc there and then we have the alternate artwork inside there tells the terror in colour it's about the American way I thought the sort of distant disc. And then the final two ones I've shown you in the videos and um, quickly show you they're ones that have been released separately. We have the pit and the pendulum. And there's all the special features on that one. I will show you these all anyway because you probably might not have seen these in my previous video. I don't know when they would have been last year sometime. Or this well not well, last year, but probably early, early this year. And then we have the alternate arc in there. I think both the still books are still available for these, the, the, that they've sold out. Let's see if it's got work. And then, last one is the only one of these I've actually watched is The Fall of the House of Usher. And again, not overly loaded special features there are a few on here so so that's what's available you know and whether it's worth making any new stuff and there's the alternate armor there just as it's known house of usher rather than the full title and there's the disc there so yeah that that's the six discs we have in that set so we do have a, a book as well, which I will probably only show you a single page because it would be easy to do this one-handed without damaging it, but it's his proper hardback book. There's a little, tiny little dent crease in the corner, but that's where it was in the box, one of size, but the box isn't damaged, so I'm just not really too worried about that. If the boxes have been damaged as well, then I probably would have said something, but yeah, I think it was just the way it was put in the case, so it's fine. So, this will include what we had in the booklet for the previous uh, those two releases. I'm trying to sort of show this, I don't want to bend this too far back, I'll sort of damage it. We do have comics as well in here. This won't be in the booklet, this is exclusive to this book. I was sort of tempted to 
not bother buying this one and then get the four separate releases next year, but I couldn't really turn down the second. It's, it's a nice set. We've got the book as well, which is good, and it works out cheaper to buy this than just buy the four releases. Yeah, I don't really want to be annoyed myself if I didn't bother getting this one. I missed out on this. I don't know if there's a comic free is the stories, but let's see there's Raven Tales of Terror has one in there. And this is what the would be the individual booklets and the releases there, so it's all similar design, very nice. I think there's a content in here. Yes, yeah, so we've got Tales of Terror comic book, I think it's the whole thing probably. Uh, the Raven and the Tomb Laguerre, the Fall of the House of Usher, uh, Haunted Palace, and what's the other one? Pit and Pendulum. So obviously, didn't have comic books, so they haven't put them in here. But yeah, you can see obviously what's in here. The page number, so it's a very, very well put together book, and it's a good, sort of nearly 200 pages long. And we've got the even got the adverse from the actual mag, um, comic books of the time. So it's a very nice touch that. So yeah, that's that one. I'll be a bit awkward to show you a bit more in depth on that one, and it's not really sort of point into each of the two hundred pages. So there is a. It's a nice image I was going to show you. But, uh, that's the black cats. Way black cat. That is from. Yes, yeah, from uh, black cat. Uh, that new version of uh, black cat, which is on one of these discs. But yeah, it's very very nice, well put together set. So uh, I will show some of the titles in this video because it's a bit pointless but I want to show and. I've got six titles to show, which won't take too long, so I'll put them on with this, and that will mean then I've got, what was it, um, probably six videos this month then, so that's, that's better than I have been doing, because some months I've been having sort of 12, 14 videos, which is quite a lot. So I'll quickly do the sort of easy ones. Um, we've got two hammer releases here. Um, the camera's not focusing. Got Kiss of the Vampire. Stars. Uh, people aren't familiar with, but uh, here's the cast. This is released by Final Cut. They seem to be picking up the hammer mantle now. And there's not as many special features as we were getting with these ones. We were getting World of Hammer episodes as well. I think it's an old TV series. But we don't seem to have those on these now. I'm sure there's some of those left to show. I'm sure that I don't know how many they made, but I'm sure there's plenty they could put on these discs. But yeah, we seem to be getting these drips and drabs now, these hammer releases. But uh, they are still coming out. Um, again, some of these, well, these used to be sort of dual format releases. These now just seem end up being just Blu ray only, but that's fine. And I'm sure there's still the usual issue with the transfers not being. You know, perfect and the issues with other things, but that would be mine. I've got Stony the Hammer collection. Not sure what the Hammer films are left to release. I'm sure there's quite a few still. But yeah, there's the discard right there, which is the same as the front. Sticking with the vampire theme from Kiss the Vampire, we have next the Vampire Lovers. This artwork looks a bit more similar. Um, the case site design looks a bit more similar to the, the releases from Final Cut. Um, this is digitally restored. Even the lifeless can love, even the dead can desire. Uh, so Ingrid Pitt, George Cole, Kate O'Mara, Peter Cushing, so more well known actors, actresses. We have um, slightly more extra features. We have a documentary on there. It's only a short documentary, but. We've got the audio commentary as well. So, 
and there's a lots of lobsters to film. Don't get out um, reverse artwork with these, but uh, get the disc artwork service. Don't expect much more of these. I do keep, keep my collection ordered by studio, but I've kept all the hammer ones separately. Um, hammer ones separate together. Uh, I think I've got about 15 now, 16 of these all together. So, yeah. I will get some point to watch them all. I may spend it. Might, well, not one way till November next year, but I'll probably find a month old to sit down and watch, watch them all. Uh, next up, we have uh, a late one of the releases in the Soda Film and Art range. This is A Spell to Ward of the Darkness. This is number six. Don't think they actually haven't put six out yet. The, so that one, I'm waiting for My Name is Hum. Hum, I don't say that. It's coming out next year. Or was it? I think, I think it's next year. So I think that's an early number than this, but. These are all very nice releases. So that, that's what they're basically the, the series is to do with. Um, so we have a DVD. Which has got a couple of tiny scratches on. Only because it's in a cardboard case. And unfortunately it's... Um, these sort of cases tend to scratch discs. Blu-rays don't get scratched so... Or, well, it's, it's a lot more difficult to scratch a Blu-ray. So, well, DVD should work. It's not the first time I've had one of these DVDs. You no, know, not had a scratch or some mark on. But I'm sure that we're all, we're all like this anyway. There's the artwork inside. And unless there's something on the DVD which is on the Blu-ray, it doesn't matter because I'll, I'll just watch the Blu-ray. There's loads of stuff on the DVD, exclusive on the DVD then, and the disc didn't work, that's a problem. So there's a booklet here. I'll we'll try and show you this without sliding it over. Which it seems to be intent on doing. Nice uh, close up image of the pair of eyes in there and the nose. This as well. So this is what we're getting on there. The Blu-ray info and the DVD. And then we have special features. So obviously it's green on black, so it's not particularly easy to see. But we we'll just see. And there's what the film's about. So yeah, it's a very nice release. These are. So to have put some really good um, films out this year. Some good box sets. So looking forward to seeing what they put out next year. It's got a nice bit of pile stuff all stacked up there, sort out. The camera's not wanting to focus. The lens isn't dirty. It does look a bit dirty, I suppose, when it when it gets out of focus. But you can't notice it and tend to see that when it's focusing. But I think I could do wiping the lens of my camera. So I'll do that after this video. Uh, next up, we have a couple of titles I picked up in FOP when I was there in uh, early December. Not too much I wanted from there. Um, only the sort of things I tend to pick up are some sort of soda DVDs if there's any worth having or um, Dog Wolf, but there's not really much else now. I've got all the artificial eye releases anyway, Master Cinema, BFI, so Arrow, so nothing worth picking up for those, but I'll pick these up. Um, these are three quid each. I do already have Dark Days, it was a previous DVD release from another label, which I've got, and I was bought them by the Dogwood version, but every time I went in there, it was about six or seven quid, I didn't want really to pay that, but when I saw it for three quid, I thought, well, might as well. So I want to keep, I'll 
obviously I want to put this with my Dark Wolf collection and the other one was sort of floating around I presume it's all the same the extra feet and stuff, I don't think it's any different I haven't compared the two but the artwork's similar and um, yeah and see how much the other one I can get for that if it's worth trading in for something so that's what it's about we have a load of special features, which say the previous one I had got, got a lot on as well. And then we have the main feature and run time, that special feature. So, quite a lot of special features on there. Almost twice as long as the film, or a bit more than twice the length of the film. So, we have the two discs. Just a uh, bit in here for some of the dog releases, which. I do have all those. I do have some of the Dogwood releases to show this month, um, sort of still books, but I'll show you those with still books videos. So we've got disc one and disc two, and then we've got the booklet here, which would normally be if there's a cardboard case, the front of the cardboard case, and what's inside. So we have the usual um, note from the director. And um, we've got a, um, an article from a critic, from critic. And we have some images on the back there. So yeah, I'll sort of only pick that up really because the dog was released. But it's the only thing they've released that's already come out already by someone else, as far as, I, far as, I'm, as, far as I'm aware, anyway. Uh, next one again. Um, th actually, this is, this one isn't a dog was released, this is a soda release. Um, and this was also three quid. Pick this up because it's um, by Michel Gondry. It's not so much a film as such. Um, it's basically filming his family, chronic chronicling his family. So it's more personal film. So I have enjoyed. Um, I did enjoy uh, Be Kind Rewind and Eternal Sun Shine the Spotless Mind. Still not going to watch in the Science of Sleep. I'm not sure if I actually got that on Blu-ray. I've got it on DVD, but I'm not sure if I've got Blu-ray of it or if it's come out on Blu-ray. Yeah, and um, there's no special feats on this as far as I'm aware. It's just the, the film itself. But. Much like Dog Wolf, Soda are uh, they what do you pick up releases for? Not necessarily every single Soda film's release, because I'm not too bothered about everyone. But things like this um, stand out. And it's, I, I wasn't aware of this one, I wasn't familiar with it, I've never heard it before, so for three quid, definitely want to pick that up and finally, um, the last few minutes of recording time I'll quickly show you this one, this is Closer uh, this is um, Scandinavian, if it's Norwegian or Danish or, or um, where it's from, um, Norwegian, Swedish or Danish but Pick this up um, as you wear. Uh, Mike Nichols passed away um, October, November, two thousand fourteen. Uh, wasn't over familiar with a lot of his films. Um, the Graduates, of course. Uh, I'm sure some of the stuff he may have directed, directed with that I've probably heard of, not where he's directed it. But this is one of the films that sort of show clips off when they sort of did the obituaries and all the stuff on the TV. So. The new guys, new um, new support up. I'd look for this. Um, don't think I had it on DVD, but picked the Blu-ray up on Play Market Store for about three quid, so it's quite cheap. I'm not sure how much the UK version was. Um, if it's, if it has got a UK release, but uh, yeah, don't always have the both front um, the front title on the front of these. Usually, I might just get the English title, but this one has. Um, and again, on the back of this is. In some language, uh, I'm not sure what, but the, the disc itself is in 5.1. Uh, this is PCM, but, so yeah. And this thing's in English, and that's Damien Rice music video. You probably work out it's not too difficult to translate that, and yeah, that'll be in English as well. So there's not a lot of special features on here, but anything that would be on here would be in English. Um, don't think the subtitles are forced when you put it on, but. There, you can turn them off. So yeah, I'm not overly familiar with this film. Um, stars 
uh, it? Jude Law. Uh, yeah, Jude Law, Jude Roberts, Natalie Portman, and Clive Owen. Uh, Screenplay by Patrick Marber. I think he's um, he's done some comedy stuff over the years. I think he's the same bloke. And then we have the usual Sony card. Yeah, you find a lot of these um, cheap releases, cheap Blu-rays on um, Play and stuff that are imports on usually uh, Sony films, uh, South African releases or you know, Scandinavian. There's inside there nothing special, it's got that Blu-ray disc thing inside. So, I uh, see the point of paying a bit more just to get the English version of it, just when it's basically the same. I mean the disc itself, it's uh, it hasn't got that um, other title on, but it's got some French writing on. So it should be a mishmash of stuff, but yeah. And it's got an Australian rating on there as well, for some reason. But I just want to pick that up, I'll say. That's going to be highly recommended from people I've spoken to, so we'll be watching that at some point. It's only about an hour 45 minutes, it's not a particularly long film. So yeah, that's everything in this video. Um, say I'll, I can only record just in a half an hour on, on this camera, so I wouldn't have a chance to show you much more of that book, but I'll, I'll show you what I could have it and say it's quite a lot of um, other things to show in this video as well, so I thought I'd well shove these all together rather than having a really, really short video. So yeah, um, I'll be back with Still books really. I've got some more anime titles to show about. I'll sort of put another three, but I'll have to get those still book videos and some other bits of stuff as well. So I'll be showing you. Um, looks like probably another three videos. Should be any more than that. So I might hold back some titles just till I get the, just in case I get get any more for December, and I can keep that as one video. But, uh, yeah, so that's everything for this one. So as usual, uh, please rate, comment and subscribe and until my next video, thanks for watching.